I was remembering some things when I was a teenager and I used to get in so many fights so much and I am not the type of person that likes fighting. I don't like fighting. But at that time period, I would fight so much and do other foolish things. Then when I reached my 20s, I would drink more and have sex before marriage, so on and so on. Did a lot of foolish things. And around those time periods, I would hang out with certain type of people and be around certain places. Now, I don't have those or I don't do those things that I did back in the past. Why? Well, I don't hang out with the same type of people anymore. And I don't hang out in those areas anymore as well. So what I am trying to say, you may be doing things that you really don't want to do. What you have to do is separate yourself from those people that are influencing you to do the wrong things in those areas that are causing you to sin. Yes, you may have been friends. Yes, you may have had that friend or friends for many years. You may have been friends with that person or people ever since you were five years old, so on and so on. And you may ask, well, how can I separate from a person that I have been friends with for a very long time? How can I betray a person like that? Or how can I dare betray a person like that? Well, think about it like this. Let's say that you and your friends or friend die in sin. So you have to know if you die in sin, you won't be able to go to heaven. So let's say that you all die in sin and you all go to hell afterward. You have to know that you are not going to be partying in hell. You are not going to have any fun in hell. There is no type of entertainment for you in hell. So you are going to be separated from your friends in hell. So what I am trying to say, look, if you are going to be separated in the next life, why not separate from yourself now? Because if they are influencing you to do those wrong things, whether it is your friends, certain family members, associates, so on and so on, separate from them now. Why not? Why take that risk? Look, you only have one spirit. That's it. Now, if you had about 10 or more, well, you can play around and stuff like that, but you only have one spirit, only one life. So when you die, that's it. Game is over. I had friends that I was friends with maybe since I was like, back then, like in third grade, and I stayed friends with them for, I don't know, eight or more years, but I stopped being their friend. <laughs> Let me say this. Maybe 
90% of bad things that I did in life, it was because of influence, of bad influence. So 90% of the bad things I did in life was because of influence. So I am not saying that, you know, I am placing the blame on other people. No, we all have the choice to choose or we all can say no. So even if you were influenced or pushed to do something, you, you have the choice to say no. So we can't really place that blame on anyone unless your parents forced you to do something. But when it comes down to your friends and stuff like that, you have the choice. Even if they threatened you, even if they said that they are going to beat you up or do something to you or tease you and stuff like that, you still have the choice to choose. So stay away from people that are causing you to sin. It is not a bad thing to not be popular. Yes, it is not a bad thing to not be popular. It is not a bad thing to not be around popular people. Because in the end, all that matters is if you are doing right by God. And if you are not doing right by God, things are not going to turn out well, by far. Yes, it may feel different and stuff like that. Man, just separate yourself from negative people, people who are influencing you to do wrong things because it is not worth it. There are plenty of people out there, some people out there who serve God. Why not find friends like that? Yes, they may not be as popular as everyone else because it is very popular to disobey God. But there are people that loves God. Why not be their friend? Think about that. Join a church. Yes, there are many bad churches out there, but there are some good churches out there. Think about that. So, you don't have to follow, how can I say this? You don't have to follow the sinful trends of people. Just because they say, well, you should be friends with this person here and that person there. You should dress like this. You know, like the most trendy things out there now, for the most part, are sinful. So, why would you want to do what the world sinful people are advising you to do. So you have to go out of that mode and do your own thing according to what God wants from us. So of course, you are not going to be popular, but let me say this, you are going to have the most peace because Let's be honest, if you are following what people are telling you to do or say, well, you are cool if you do this or just like this or be like this, so on and so on, usually 
it is something that you really don't want to do anyways, but you are following a person that everyone else is following, but what they want to do is something that you really don't want to do, but you don't want to be the out person or the unpopular person because you want to fit in. Let me say this. The more that you don't fit in with sinful people, the closer you are going to be with God. <laughs> with me, now, you know, I can't say that I don't fit in with people because of my personality and stuff like that, but what many people do, I don't do. Now, people may like me because of my personality and stuff like that, but as in actions and doing what other people do, I don't do that. So, towards that aspect, I don't fit in towards that aspect. But because of my personality, I am liked by some people. Not everyone, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> Not everyone. <laughs> so, really keep this in mind. Don't try to fit in. Do what God wants you to do and be. Because if you are following what God wants you or wants from you, you are not going to fit in at all. You are not. I don't. I don't fit in in many places. So really take heed to this. God bless.